Y'all, something just happened to me right now. I have all of that footage walking into a barber shop and asking them and who the barber was. Whoever I was supposed to speak to or talk to, that it be someone. Uh, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know. Just swipe up so you can see it for yourself. Hi swipe. Welcome to Aspen's Journey. My name is Aspen. And as you can tell by the title or possibly by the thumbnail, then you know today's video is going to be a day in the life of an entrepreneur. So if you guys are just interested in following me on this beautiful, beautiful Friday morning, um, getting things done, pertaining to both of my businesses and just tips and tricks on how to stay sane <laughs> and calm and uh, not getting overwhelmed, um, then yeah, just keep watching. I'm on my way right now to the post office um, to drop off this package and then to the bank. So God had other plans, guys. That'll be in the next video. You want to say hi, Dalian Nala? <laughs> Dali Nala, say hi. <laughs> hi, princess. Those are my dogs, Dali and Nala, guys. Dallas, you know better. You know better. Sit down. Um, they go with me absolutely everywhere. Yeah, let me know what kind of content you guys want to see, like moving forward, right? This is only my second video on this channel, right? I want to kind of niche my channel down, guys, but not niche it down too much. Um, basically, just all aspects of business, right? Um, but I kind of want to throw a little bit of like spirituality in there um, because without God, honestly guys, like I would not be here. As cliche as it sounds, I would not be here. Like he changed my entire life. Let me know if there's any spiritual people that would also like to see that journey because I I'm going to tell you guys, God can do wonders. When you invite him in and you seek him and you put him first, he will give you all the desires of your heart every single desire that your heart has that itch that burn that desire that you always had especially if it's something good that is from god i heard that from denzel washington a speech he did and that really stuck with me like wow it has always been a desire of mine guys an absolute desire to be a business owner like it's it's just been in my blood in my dna just in my heart in my soul I never wanted to work a nine to five. I've got fired from so many jobs. I've quit from so many jobs. I'm talking about like a ridiculous amount, guys. Like dozens, dozens. <laughs> I will probably do a story on that uh, in my ADHD diagnosis um, and all of that good stuff. I'm actually on my way to pick up my prescription, my Adderall prescription before I go to the post office. I know there is lots of videos out there as well, guys, of people diagnosed with ADHD in adulthood and dealing with being um, in ADHD diagnoses. Let me know if you guys are interested in that, guys, because it was a real struggle. I watched this TED talk on this girl who didn't find out she had ADHD until adulthood also and how her life was just like, again, fired from almost every job. Just it was like extreme and then when she found out she had it literally and when she got medication and um counseling how her life did a 360. so i was the same way the same way i got diagnosed in um the end of 2019 i believe october of 2019 and literally i opened my business february of 2019 the very next year when i could never do it before 27 years i'd never accomplished it and then as soon as i got the adhd diagnosis and got on the medication within four months i accomplished mind you that even the diagnosis and seeking the diagnosis and the assessment that all came after my um kind of spiritual journey right so it all ties into play guys i keep saying i'm gonna film a full video i will full film a full video on that but i'm gonna get out of here guys take my medication and finish the rest of my day.
you doing? Good, good. Uh, I don't know whoever the manager is. Yeah, Dre's a... He went to go pick up his daughter from here. Right. I just thought that. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. You cannot make this stuff up, guys. You cannot make this stuff up. Did you guys hear that? Okay. First of all, guys, when I first started filming, um, I, it's, it may be in B-roll, but when I opened the door and, and, uh, and was getting out the car, I was ending my prayer right there, right? Guys, you can't make this stuff up. And this is why it goes hand in hand. I hope there's a lot of spiritual people watching me, guys. I hope so you guys can see firsthand. You guys caught that. It was on camera. I know this. Okay, okay. Let me calm down and just start over. Okay, guys. So as I was driving past today, I was actually vlogging with you guys. And I was driving past the street that I drive on every single day. There's a barber shop on this street that is um, fairly busy all the time. Guys, I promise you, as I'm passing it, it just stuck out to me. Mind you, I'm vlogging with you guys. I'm not even looking. I pass this place every single day, guys. And it just stuck out like a sore thumb. It just was just there. Barber shop in, in a big, 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 um, big letters. I was like, I'm going to go back by today. Now, mind you, today, guys, I didn't have any any intentions on um, doing any pitches um, taking my business card to any barbershops I, that was so far like out of my mind I've just been like on my online boutique like this last month I haven't even been thinking about the ATM business other than managing just the one that I have right so I see this barbershop and I had a prayer this morning guys in the prayer for God to just guide me to just guide me whatever you want me to see God whatever you want me to hear God place it on my heart place it on my mind give me the thought Heavenly Father to let me know that this is you communicating with me this is how you answer my prayers a lot of the times we struggle with hearing God you know we pray and it's almost like a one-sided relationship right so I had to work on listening to his responses because God will indeed respond. So I knew right then and there when I was filming that I'm gonna stop back by that barbershop today. I have a couple, I keep business cards on me um, at all times. I'm gonna stop back by the barbershop, drop off a, a business card. We go through the whole day vlogging, etc., etc. not really thinking much about it. On the way home, I'm passing it again. And I was like, let, let me just stop really quick. Let me just stop. Made a U-turn, guys, go in the parking lot. That's where I started filming, when you see me getting out the car and walking up to it. And I just said a prayer. I just said, God, if this is for me, um, whoever I'm supposed to speak to, God, I pray that they are there. I pray that you give me a good first impression. Whoever is in there, Heavenly Father, I pray that that is who I'm supposed to be speaking to, guys. Guys, I promise you, I wish I said the prayer out loud so you could hear it. I promise you, right hand, I promise you, I don't swear, forgive me, I don't swear. I have no reason to lie to you guys. Guys, I walk in, one of the people, the only people, the barber who was working in there, guys, was a really, really good friend of mine in high school, guys. We were like close, like we kicked it. It wasn't just an associate at school, but like we kicked it. He, he was really good friends with some of my other friends. I was good friends with some of his friends, like, all throughout high school even after we graduated up until maybe like 20 21 22 was kind of when we lost contact so it's been about five six years since i've even seen this guy i don't have him on social media nothing guys i walk in and, and you guys listen close i'm gonna replay it again right i'm gonna replay that clip um and actually i stopped recording but i caught what i was supposed to catch when we recognized each other mind you we have masks on and i have shades on so we like notice each other at the same time Eddie, hi. Eddie, hi. Eddie, hi. turns the clippers off and he's walking towards me and i'm like ernie and he's like yeah what's up and we hugged you guys we hugged hi how are you good how are you doing good good and um and I think that's right when it cut off. I didn't get the full conversation, but I basically just gave him a quick rundown, gave him my business card. Yeah, I'll give it to him as soon as he gets back. And I was like, all right, put in a good word for me, Ernie. And he's like, yep, I will, like, take care. Guys, when I tell you, when I tell you guys that was God himself who came down,
when I tell you guys that that was literally God had his hands all over that he had his hands all over that guys all over it I could not have planned for a better pitch and I don't even know if I'm gonna get it I'll update you guys I don't even know I have no clue but that's not that's not like that has nothing to do with it that's what I want you guys to understand even if I don't get this placement just understand understand this is how we communicate with God this was him speaking back to me what I asked for directly guys directly first of all I wasn't even gonna go there he open that like it was like everything else was was non-existent when i was driving by and it was just this barber shop that was just there and i remember smiling like okay you know acknowledging him like i know i know that was you god i asked you i asked you to allow me to see it allow me to hear it to place it on my heart whatever you want me to do today i asked him so that was the first that was the first step that was the first one right and this is why we have to be we have to have discernment we have to pay attention we have to guys so i could have easily missed that easily i know he has sent me signs like this in the past that i missed i know it we all do right but i caught it right okay i was gonna miss it again the second time i have i had to make a u-turn to come back around and then the prayer that i said before stepping out about placing whoever it is that you want me to speak to father god place them there and i could have spoke directly to the owner but guess what i don't have a personal relationship with the owner guys we have history together over a decade he he works inside of there guys he works there like uh, you guys get the point. I don't want to drag it out, but you guys get it. You guys get it. I'm happy I had all of this on camera, guys. I'm so happy that I just caught it all. And I was like torn with the direction that I wanted to take my channel. I wanted to talk about God as much as possible, but I didn't want to niche myself into like um, a spiritual channel, which is nothing wrong with that. Those are beautiful. I love them, right? Um, but this channel is business based, right? So I was trying to find a balance of my entrepreneurial journey and while still giving glory to God and, and having it make sense on my channel. Videos just like this. This was 100% a day in the life of an entrepreneur video. And look at how it's ending. Glory to God. I know these videos help people. I know it's people who are on the line, maybe grew up in Christianity and kind of, you know, went away or maybe never had a relationship to God, but maybe it's just now seeking them or maybe they don't even believe in God. And this is something that'll tip the scale and, you know, get them over like whatever it is. I asked God to use me today. That was another prayer, guys. I asked him to use me. I, I'm gonna get to preaching on here. Let me go and get off y'all. This is the last thing before I get off. I wasn't even gonna record a video today, guys. He placed it on my heart. You wanna be consistent, Aspen? You're, you're running errands for your business. Pick up the camera and record. That was placed from him, guys, from him. He set this whole day up. He knew how it was gonna play out. All of this was already ordained and planned the entire day from the filming to Ernie being in the barber shop to every single part of it was already planned and he just guided me to it. That's telling me that it's for a purpose. It's for a reason. It's for a reason. I may not pull up to a million subscribers, but it's for a reason. He's using me through this, amen? But again, I'm done. I promise I'm done now. So I'm gonna go and pull in so the lighting can be terrible so I can stop talking. <laughs> Catch y'all on my next shot, guys.